What's up everyone and welcome to Austin Slate Adventures. As you can probably guess, I'm Austin Slate. Now today we're going to be talking about four items that I'm excited to take backpacking on my next trip. Now these items might not be the newest on the market, but they're new to me and I'm really excited for them for a couple of reasons. Now some of those reasons are I've never used this type of item or I'm just upgrading to something a little bit more useful or something that works better for me. So before we get started with the first item, uh, I think it's important to note that while I was picking these items out, I was kind of trying to go as light as possible to lighten my load in my pack. Some of them might be a lateral move or even a step down from what I had before, uh, but they'll be lighter than what I had before. The first item on the list is going to have to be my brand new Trangia alcohol stove. Um, I was actually supposed to take this on my last trip, but I chickened out and I'll tell you why. I chickened out because in the past I've had trouble with alcohol stoves and I've run out of fuel uh, before getting my water boiled or my food cooked, whatever it may be. But this time I'm dialing it in and I got this pot stand. Now this is the Vargo aluminum pot stand. And as you can see, I've already tested it out a little bit. I'm kind of a little nerdy when it comes to stoves, uh, and I, I think that this one is really cool. And if you guys want to see a review of this whenever I've tested it out, let me know. It seems that somebody wants to be in the motion picture. This is Pepper, and she's our sweet kitty. Item number two on my list is also related to cooking, and I used it in one of my previous videos. It is the ever new titanium kettle the 600 milliliter. Now, I gotta be honest with this one, I chose it because I think it looks super cool. It's functional in that it has enough volume for me to cook some of my favorite meals and mountain house meals, but um, it might not have enough if I wanna cook something really interesting. I think this weighs in at just under four ounces, um, so it's not the lightest titanium pot, but it's pretty robust. Before you ask, yes, I've made tea in it. Item number three on my list, is the Nightcore NU25 headlamp. So this piece of gear is one that I'm really excited about and there's a couple reasons why. For starters, you get really good battery life for a small battery. You see how small this thing is in comparison to my hand. So I had this thing running strong on the second setting, which is that, when I was working on a tent um, and just like testing it out and it lasted for a solid two and a half hours. Some other features that I'm really excited about with this headlamp is it only weighs in at 1.8 ounces and that is, as I understand, one of the lightest on the market. Another feature that I really like about this headlamp is if you hold down the main light switch, it gives you this diffused light that acts as a lantern for you to use around camp. I don't think it's coming across on the camera very well, but that's a really useful feature that I'm looking forward to. Now there is another headlamp that's a little bit lighter than this one, I think, just barely, um, but it's it's made by the same company as the NU20. It's not quite as strong, doesn't have as good of a battery, but it does have a little cover right here so that you can't turn it on your, in your pack. Um, but this one, you can lock it. And item number four on my list is my new tent. This is the Tarp Tent Pro Trail. I am super pumped about this tent. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's relatively small. This is including the stakes. Um, you can get it even smaller, but this thing weighs under two pounds. If I took it just like this, it would weigh 26 ounces. Um, now what I did is I don't use trekking poles, so I bought these optional poles uh, they send you aluminum Easton poles. Easton's a great brand. They make a lot of different stuff from baseball bats to obviously backpacking gear. Now the few times that I've set this up so far, it's been super easy. It takes under four or five minutes and uh, very self-explanatory. But Tarp Tent has a really great instructional video and if you follow it step by step in exactly that order it'll work every time now guys those are the four things that i'm most excited about taking on my next backpacking trip which is at the end of this month but don't think i've forgotten about the bonus at the end i need your help i'm in search of the best way to make coffee on the trail now we all know about instant but the majority of those taste like cigarette butt smell i'm not happy with that 
So I need your help on finding the best way to make coffee in the back country. So here's what I'm gonna do. Once a month, I'm gonna taste three different either instant coffees or ways that you guys suggest to make coffee. Here are the three that I have for today. First up, we have Death Wish Instant Coffee. This has 300 milligrams of caffeine and I don't think it's made to taste good, but we'll see. Next, we have Juan Valdez. Never heard of it, not looking promising. And finally, we have a clear favorite of the day, Cafe Bustello. I've only heard good things about this and I'm pumped. First off, let's go ahead and try the Death Wish. Smells like cigarettes. Not bad. No, really. It tastes a little acidic, but that's not the worst instant I've ever had. Next, let's have the Cafe Bustello. Smells like instant, not that bad. It's less acidic, but not as good. And finally, let's try the Juan Valdez. Okay, hola. This is a different smell. This smells like real coffee. And for the taste test. Well, color me disappointed. No, really, that tastes the most light coffee out of these three but you would really need to dial in how much you put in there. I tried to put eight ounces of water in here, about, and then I put two teaspoons, which just says to put one, and that ain't right. I needed more. To be clear, the Juan Valdez definitely won. I think you just need to dial it in, but it tasted pretty good. Just so you guys know, links for all of this gear are in the description box below. So if you're interested in any of these, go check them out. Okay guys, let me know what you think of the coffee. Let me know what you think of the video. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. And uh, if you wanna see something specific, let me know. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.